my friend Tyler is coming and we are going to be um, uh, putting a 3000 watt inverter in, but first we have to replace this breaker box. He has a single 30 amp power distribution center and it's uh, much easier to do a 3000 watt inverter with a dual bus breaker box. So I bought this WFCO 8930-50. Now, Leisure went to this model breaker box uh, in the 2016 and newer, or 2016 through 2019 Unity models. Uh, I'm not sure when they went to it on the Wonder models, but I'm working, we're uh, putting a 3,000 watt inverter on a uh, 2018 Wonder Murphy bed, and he only has a 30 amp. So this is, this is the 8930 slash 50. And what that means is, um, you have two separate bus bars. So you could actually wire this to be either just a single 30 or two hot legs for a 50 amp service. But we want to make this a true dual bus um, power distribution center or breaker box. So what we need to do in order to do that is we need to separate this neutral bar like I said, Leisure went to this in the Unity models for the 2018 or 2016 through 2019 models. Uh, but then in 2020, they switched to a true dual bus breaker box. So they basically switched to this exact breaker box, but from the manufacturer, this neutral bar is already separated into two separate bars. So um, those breaker boxes are very hard to find and certainly more expensive. So I just ordered this 8930-50 from um, off, off of Amazon. And I'm just going to cut the, uh, I'm just going to cut the neutral bar in two myself and then it can be used as a true dual bus bar breaker box. So let me get let me get this out of here. I got to take this wire off. Well, I can do it. Um, These are uh, the square bits, so I had to switch to a square bit. Anyway, so, um, oh, and this breaker box actually has a separate outlet if anybody wants to wire that and use it on the back side, but I usually disconnect it and I don't use it at all. So let me get set up to cut this and I'll be right back. Okay, so I always just remove the two center screws uh, between the two screw positions. I take out two center screws and I mark it because this is the section I'm going to cut out of the neutral bar. Okay, so I'm going to cut out this section where the two screws were and that's going to make the gap that I need so I'll have two separate neutral bars. bars so we put them back where they're supposed to go
Now the reason we're doing this is because um, according to National Electric Code, uh, the neutral sources, a uh, neutral is a, a, a ground, type of ground um, for the circuit, uh, different from your bare wire ground, which is back here. It says that the neutral sources to ground must stay the same. So one side we will make shore power at, or generator power. And shore power is natural earth ground. And generator power is chassis ground. So we're going to put um, the generator and shore power on this bus bar. And then on this bus bar and this neutral bar will be the inverted powered circuits. And the inverter is also chassis frame ground. Um, but the thing that keeps the neutral separate, so the natural earth ground of shore power to this natural earth neutral is your automatic transfer switch. The automatic transfer switch actually lifts its leads. So when you're on shore power, the neutral grounding is natural earth. When it senses the generator is on, it switches to the generator, it lifts the leads to the generator and the neutral chassis grounded um, connection for the generator. And then that switches and makes this a chassis neutral. So the automatic transfer switch is what, from a National Electric Code perspective, keeps this safe as a safe, good electrical circuit. And then on the inverted side, it's always grounded to chassis. So this neutral will always be uh, uh, grounded to the chassis frame. So that's why you wanna keep your inverted bus bar and neutral separate from your shore generator bus bar neutral because your automatic transfer switch is managing the neutral connection. So that keeps this safe and then the inverter is always the same with chassis. So that's why you wanna keep your chassis circuit separate, the neutral wire. So these always stay the same, grounded to the frame. They don't get mixed. You never wanna mix them. That's the National Electric Code requires that they stay separated and that they're managed by a, you know, a device like an automatic transfer switch. Your inverter also has an automatic transfer switch. So when it's passing through shore power, it also has the same kind of leads, connections. So when it's passing through shore power, it's automatic transfer switch keeps the neutral grounded with the shore power ground. And when the shore power or the generator power is gone, then the automatic transfer switch switches to the battery power, which is chassis frame. So the automatic transfer switch within the inverter keeps this bus safe. So you definitely want to uh, make a modification like this. If you have, like I said, if you have a Unity 2016 through 2019, you can make this simple modification to use the power distribution center that you already have. But if you have a an older wonder or an older older than 2016 Unity, then I recommend going, replacing the single um, 30 amp power distribution center with this 89 WFCO 8930 50 and do this modification so you can use it to wire in a 3000 watt inverter. Okay, so I'll show you how this all gets wired when uh, I replace it in the uh, 2018 wonder.